Hey guys, SF here and a little bit of a tutorial or a little lesson but I'm gonna have a team with Visron, Lota, and Yoshinobu. I finally max level max my Yoshinobu. Uh, I want to kind of like tell you uh, how to farm efficiently and mindlessly. My friends also uh, going to be uh, Independence. So we have three homing monsters. So Visceron and Independence and Yoshinobu. Uh, the Deer Lota, it could be a Luck Dragon if you want. Uh, depending on what you want. But, uh, but this is mainly for farming normal dungeons, farming shards, farming turtles. Because uh, you can just do almost anything and kill mobs without much thinking, much positioning, or anything like that. And you have a couple of nukes as well. Why I, why I picked the later ones is because there's not much uh, gravity barriers. There's no damage walls to take care of. So you just pop these and then just... Go mindlessly. Like you don't really have to care about damage or getting hearts and stuff. You just go boom, boom, and why well, I put the Lota is just for speed clear and like a, just a faster time. But you can also put a luck dragon there to get an extra box or a max luck monster to get an extra box or two. This may not be the fastest but it's the most effortless party. That is farmable. Uh, other replacements can be low lady. But I think that's only when after the 3.1 patch comes out. I'll have a video about that later in the week when I get it when I when I finish farming in Japan <coughs> there are mines in the last half but they don't do that much damage as long as they you guys don't clump up and uh, you can take those mines and keep on destroying the mobs There goes the mini boss, and it is the main boss. See how fast it is? Only like two, three minutes. Well, three minutes in the video, but I think like it takes like two minutes to get this this far. Okay. Now for the last bar. Let's use Dear Lota on some.
Independence. That's it. Took about four minutes. Well, that's because I didn't get a good angle for Lota's strike shot. It could be a lot faster. Four or five minutes. Uh, it is very effortless. Uh, you don't have to care about dying the whole time. Although the mines did, did do a lot of damage there. But as long as you s just keep separate. Keep a little bit of distance away from each other. Then it's alright. Uh, other good ones are Teeny, Low Lady, and Mundus. But Independence are Independence and Viswarm are kind of like set or like core because they target weakened FOs. Uh, they don't target random like all the other ones. Uh, you can also have dupes in there. You can have like two, three Independences right there, and have a Luck Dragon if you have a lot, if you have a dupe or something like that. But uh, try these out. Uh, Viswarm and Yoshinobu are extreme level. Farmable, dun uh, farmable bosses so you can grab them max level them and you don't really have to put pluses on them because their uh, stats don't because uh, their stats don't uh, scale off of their bump combo so uh, try to get them and uh, and for people it's the ascended version of Yoshinobu uh, the evolved one is not the best one uh, you have to use the ascended version but that's it for me. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye.